Introducing the all-new 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's been completely re-engineered and totally redesigned with more power, more performance, more luxury and more safety features than ever before. The all-new Jeep Grand Cherokee is the most capable sport utility ever. What does it mean and how does it apply to you? Here is how a leading independent automotive research firm defines capable. The ability to respond on the road and off the road to demanding dynamic events with a predictable and consistent outcome. A capable vehicle is one that will perform no matter how demanding the input it receives from the surface it travels. Jeep Grand Cherokee is the most capable sport utility ever. Here's proof. AMCI, an independent automotive research consulting firm, developed and conducted a series of objective tests of vehicle dynamics which determine a truly capable sport utility. 24 sport utility vehicles from three continents were chosen and similarly equipped. Each was put through the exact same precise challenge. You will see the scores of the 11 finalists in all categories and hear from the people who conducted these tests. I'm Gordon Wangers, managing partner of Automotive Marketing Consultants Incorporated. And what we do is a thing called comparative vehicle assessment and evaluation. And that is we take a new model that's being introduced into the automotive marketplace and obtain its key competitive vehicles in that market segment and then go out to our test track, which is located in Southern California, and actually put them to the paces in the vehicle dynamics areas. Dynamics means when the car is moving. We're measuring how do they drive, how do they perform. We've been doing this kind of work for many years, since 1981, so we have quite a bit of experience at it. And as an independent company, we work for a number of different manufacturers. We let the numbers tell the story, and we pull no punches. We ran a number of different types of acceleration tests to really assess uh, the power capabilities of each of the sport utilities. We looked at zero to 60, quarter mile, passing, a variety of different types of tests to really draw a strong conclusion about powertrain capabilities of the different SUVs. One of the tests that uh, we run that has a lot of real-world applications is our loaded acceleration. And in this particular test, what we wanted to do is see how each one of these sport utilities perform with some weight in them. These uh, two tests that we're looking at now have some very real-world applications. These braking tests give us a very clear picture about the capabilities of these sport utilities in active safety, real-world driving. When the driver reaches 70 miles an hour and he's ready to go, he mashes his foot down to the brake pedal, puts the brake pedal down to the floor as hard and as fast as he can get it down there, and we measure the time and distance that it takes for the vehicle to come to a complete stop. And then what we do is we wet the surface of the pavement down and we do the same test all over again using the same equipment, the same procedures, except now we're going to do it from 50 miles an hour to a dead stop. And this starts to give us an indication of what the capabilities are of these sport utilities. This next test that we're running is what we call our evasive action. And what this simulates is an emergency panic situation for the driver. The way we conduct this test is pretty simple. We go ahead and we set up an emergency lane change. You're traveling down one direction, you have to quickly change lanes over one, and then back over once again to the lane you were traveling in. And what we do is we time the vehicles, how long it takes them, 
to complete that distance or that emergency lane change. We know the exact length of the course. Once we know how long it takes each sport utility to complete that course, we can go ahead and figure out which sport utility is faster through this specific test. The way we run this test is in dry conditions and then we'll also in wet conditions. You're now watching our cornering test. What we're measuring here is the ability for the car to hold the road. So what we've done is we've set up a 180 degree turn and we've got our start and stop boxes set out again with our clocks. We know the exact uh, dimensions of the corner that the vehicle's driving through, the radius of the turn. So once we've gone ahead and measured how long it takes for the sport utility to complete that corner, we can go ahead and compute that time with the distance that the vehicle has traveled. From there, we can also come up with a G-force measurement. And what that will tell us is the road handling ability of each one of these sport utilities that we're testing. In this test, what we're going to be looking for are the acceleration capabilities of each one of the sport utilities, and that gets into the low-end torque and the horsepower, as well as the traction capabilities of the different four-wheel drive systems. Anytime you're doing any kind of vehicle testing, the big challenge is, is not to compromise the surface that you're testing on. So what we've done is we've created a metal sheet uh, that's perforated that we've laid down to the surface of the hill, staked it down, and with this sheet, what it will do is conform to the different contours of the hill without changing the actual uh, traction capabilities that each vehicle will have. Whether that's uh, a sport utility having a center locking differential, a rear locking differential, a limited slip, those features are all going to come into play in this particular test. We'll make a series of runs, average O's for every vehicle, and we'll go ahead and be able to draw a conclusion which vehicle has the greatest amount of horsepower or hill climbing capabilities. What the angle of approach tells us is how large of an object that the vehicle can drive up and over or how steep of a great hill that the vehicle can climb up. And that always had a lot of off-road applications uh, but it also has some very real-world applications to the average person that would never take a sport utility off-road. What we're going to be measuring here is angle of departure. We have our A measurement and our C measurement, and from there we'll divide the two, take the cosine of it, and that'll give us our B measurement. And then what we can do is then convert all those numbers into the angle of departure. We're going to measure crest over. And what this measurement tells us is how steep of an angle the vehicle can drive up and over. Well, with a higher crest over, that means just that much steeper of an angle or a larger angle that the vehicle can go up and over without bottoming out. Now we're measuring ground clearance, and what this application tells us is how large of an object the vehicle can drive over without hitting that object. If you've ever been on the highway and you've seen a, a muffler or a tire tread sitting out there in the middle of the road, a vehicle that's got a higher ground clearance, of course, is going to have an easier time and less of chance of hitting that object. Right now what we're doing is suspension articulation measurements. We created a ramp that allows us to drive the vehicle up a very steep surface where you get a chance to actually see the angle of approach. But what we're also looking for is how large an object is that this vehicle in theory could drive up and over before it would lose traction uh, and lift the rear tire off the ground. What we're gonna do is take a series of measurements and that's gonna give us an idea of which sport utility vehicle that we're looking at has the greatest suspension articulation when compared to all the others. The 
Another test that's important to determine a sport utility's overall capability is towing capacity. So we researched all the manufacturer specs on their different towing capacities for those 11 competitors, and here are the results. This next test is our 4x4 effectiveness test. What we've done is we've created a platform here that's gonna simulate a glare ice or icy road condition. And what we're gonna do is pull each vehicle up onto the platform where three of the wheels are on the rollers, getting very little traction, while one wheel is on our grate here where it has full traction. And we're gonna test each vehicle and see which four-wheel drive system really is most effective. At AMCI, one of our goals was to see who's got the most capable sport utility. So we assembled 24 of the top competitors. You've just seen results from the top 11 finalists. We went into our certification process, we assembled multiple drivers, we made multiple runs, we crunched all the data, and in our opinion, the 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee is the most capable sport utility ever. You've seen the proof. Jeep engineers have designed the 1999 Grand Cherokee to a new level of capability. They've also taken the interior to a new level of refinement. The all-new instrument panel on Grand Cherokee has a high level of styling and definition. The available leather-wrapped steering wheel features fingertip controls to operate the automatic speed control and an audio system that puts 180 watts of power conveniently at your fingertips. An available overhead console provides even more interior refinement. A vehicle information system allows you to program up to 13 electronic preferences with the touch of a finger. The information system communicates in any of five languages and in both U.S. and metric measurement systems. Coupled with a mini trip computer and the Homelink universal transmitter, it provides you with complete control. From full stereo sound with the available AM-FM stereo cassette CD system to the all-new heating and ventilation system that features the infrared dual-zone climate control, another industry first, Grand Cherokee is setting new standards for sport utilities. With the infrared dual-zone climate control, both driver and front passenger can select a comfort level for each side of the cabin. It uses infrared technology to separately read the driver and passenger's surface temperature, not just the cabin temperature, and then independently adjusts each side's airflow and air temperature to keep each of you in your comfort zone. Add to that amenity the distinctive texture of handcrafted leather-trimmed seat surfaces, standard on Limited, 10-way power front seats that feature power recliners and lumbar supports, available driver and front passenger heating controls, and plush padding that cradles upper back, shoulder, and thigh while providing firm lateral support. It's the ultimate in driving comfort. The most uncommon luxury of all, interior volume. In the front, headroom and legroom have increased over previous models, while rear seat hip room has grown by over three inches. Grand Cherokee offers 39 cubic feet of cargo capacity with five passenger comfort and 72.3 cubic feet of quickly converted cargo capacity when it is needed. Fold both rear seats forward for maximum flat cargo volume or split fold the rear seat backs. Even with the available full-size spare tire now stored under the rear load floor, Grand Cherokee rear area has more usable cargo space than ever before. The spare's removable lid fits flush with the surrounding load floor while covering it, and a special molded seal at the rear minimizes transfer of road noise into the interior, something you won't find on any other domestic 4x4 vehicle in its class. Standard across the Grand Cherokee model lineup are side guard door beams, remote keyless entry, and child protection rear door locks. And with only one outside key cylinder on the driver's door, possible entry points are reduced for your added security. It's also easier to enter and exit the vehicle, a result of lower step over height. Throughout, the emphasis is on quality, comfort, and luxury, with superb refinement in the areas of noise, vibration, and harshness. It's the reality of the everyday. The all new Jeep Grand Cherokee wants to give you the capability to go where your imagination can run free.
In the city, Grand Cherokee has mastered the bumps and grinds of everyday driving. With its all-new 4.7-liter Powertech V8 engine, mated to an all-new electronically controlled multi-speed automatic transmission, uniframe construction, and exclusive quadricoil suspension, you can handle the canyons of the city instead of them handling you. With an advanced four-wheel disc anti-lock braking system, the all-new Jeep Grand Cherokee delivers the best stopping ability in its class. A 4-liter Powertech i6 is standard on the Grand Cherokee. It is improved to be quieter and more powerful. The lighter, all-new 4.7-liter Powertech V8 engine with a high performance rating of 235 horsepower has faster acceleration around all types of obstacles. And with unsurpassed gas mileage among V8-equipped sport utility vehicles and reduced emissions, it can take you to all parts unknown. Now, open up on the highway. Feel the exceptional ride and comfort. With 16-inch wheels and larger standard tires, its new vibration-reducing uniframe body structure, new steering linkage, and an agile quadricoil suspension give you a superior level of refinement, quietness, and control that will handle all types of road conditions. As a proven leader in four-wheel drive technology, Jeep Engineering has designed and built into the all-new Grand Cherokee a system of unique components that combined give you a complete driving experience. When the new Quadratrack 2 on-demand transfer case is combined with the all-new Verilock front and rear progressive axles, they produce our most advanced four-wheel drive system ever, Quadradrive. Quadradrive has the ability to transfer torque rear to front and side to side, allowing Grand Cherokee to pull you out of situations other 4x4s just couldn't handle. 100% of the developed engine torque can be sent to just one wheel, the wheel with the most grip. There you have it. The all-new 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee has a claim like no other that speaks to its on- and off-road mastery with unparalleled luxury, refinement, legendary Jeep engineering, and an emphasis on safety. The 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee, the most capable sport utility ever.